title of this presentation is Matched Filtering Determines Human Visual Search in Natural Images. My name is Alexander Toot and I'm with TNO in the Netherlands. In 2002, Wang and Bovik introduced the Structural Similarity Index, which measures the similarity between two images in terms of local luminance, contrast and spatial structure. When mu represents the arithmetic mean of the luminance intensity over an image patch, the similarity of the luminance distribution over two small image patches x and y can be defined by the product of the two means divided by the sum of their squares. L is in the range of 0 to 1 and becomes equal to 1 when both patches have the same mean luminance. When sigma represents the standard deviation of the luminance intensity over an image patch, the similarity of the luminance contrast of two small image patches x and y can be defined by the product of the two standard deviations divided by the sum of their squares. C is in the range of 0 to 1 and becomes equal to 1 when both patches have the same contrast. The covariance of x and y reflects the tendency of the two image signals to vary together and can therefore be adopted as a measure of the structural similarity of the two patches. The overall structural similarity index between the patches X and Y is defined as the product of the luminance, contrast and structural similarity components. When comparing two images, the structural similarity index is computed locally within a sliding window that moves pixel by pixel across the image, resulting in a structural similarity index map. The structural similarity index score of the entire image is then computed by pooling the structural similarity index map, for instance by simply averaging the map across the image. Zhang and Zhang adapted the Structural Similarity Index in 2007 for use as a clutter metric and introduced a target Structural Similarity metric. Instead of comparing two images patchwise, they compared an image patch containing a search target, which they call the target block, with an image representing a scene that may contain the target, which we will call the search scene. Instead of sliding the target block over the search scene, they divide the search scene into blocks of the same size as the target block and perform a patchwise comparison of the target block with all the image blocks. The size of the target block is about twice the size of the target, to ensure that this patch represents both the target and its local background. After substitution, the target structural similarity index can be written as follows. Here we set c equal to zero, since we observe no instabilities for the image set used in our experiments. The overall target structural similarity index can then be calculated in two ways, both as the root mean square of the local target structural similarity index, or as the arithmetic mean of the local target structural similarity index. However, to assess the individual contributions of luminance, contrast and structural similarity to the overall target structural similarity clutter metric, we rewrite the target structural similarity index in its full form. Zhang and Zhang found that the target structural similarity index correlates significantly with mean search time and detection probability. However, it's currently not clear to what extent each of the three target structural similarity index components, luminance, contrast and structural similarity, contributes to this correlation, and how the relative weight should be chosen. In this study, we used the Search2 image dataset to assess the performance of the Target Structural Similarity Index and each of its three components. This dataset contains the results of a visual search and detection experiment, in which 62 observers searched 256 rural scenes for different military vehicles. The scenes were registered during the DISTAF field trials in Fort Hunter Lake at California, and were projected in random order with a field of view of 65 degrees horizontal by 46 degrees vertical. The performance parameters that were registered were response time and correctness. Here you see a typical example of a search scene, showing a 272 located on a hilltop. And here we show an overview of the different target vehicles that were used in the experiment. Immediately after a participant had indicated that he had seen the position of the target, a numbered matrix appeared on which the participant could indicate where the target had been seen. For all the target scenes used in this experiment, the target structure similarity metric was computed as follows. First, we cut out a block around the target of twice the apparent target size, here indicated by the red square. Then we divided the search scenes into blocks with the size that was equal to that of the target block, here indicated by the white squares. 
Then we computed the target structural similarity metric between the target block and each of the image blocks. And finally, we computed the root mean square, or the arithmetic mean, of all block target structural similarity metric values. This image shows that the size of the target block adapts to the target size. These tables show respectively the correlation between the target structural similarity metric and each of its three components, luminance, contrast and structural similarity, on the one hand, and the logarithm of the mean search time and the detection probabilities for the images in the Search2 dataset on the other hand, quantified by respectively the Pearson and the Spearman rank order correlation coefficients. These results show that the target structural similarity metric and its structural similarity component S correlate both significantly at the 0.01 level, one-tailed, with the logarithm of the mean search time and the detection probability, whereas the luminance and contrast similarity components show no significant correlation whatsoever. The target structural similarity metric and the structural similarity component S both correlate most strongly with the logarithm of the mean search time. The structure component S correlates stronger with both the detection probability and the log search time than the target structure similarity metric. The largest correlation values are obtained for the arithmetic mean of the structural similarity component. The overall largest correlation is obtained between the arithmetic mean of the structural similarity component and the logarithm of the search time. Note that the structural similarity component S is in fact a correlation measure, similar to a matched filter. The target structure similarity metric parses the image into non-overlapping blocks, performing matched filtering on each block, and computes the overall clutter metric as the average over all blocks. The rationale for this approach is that the mean search time will be longer, and the detectable probability will therefore be smaller, if there are more image blocks that are similar to the search target. To investigate the effects of the use of discrete blocks, we computed the structural target similarity metric, for blocks with different degrees of overlap, ranging from zero overlap, corresponding to a non-overlapping image tessellation, as used by the target structure similarity metric, to maximal overlap, corresponding to full matched filtering. We found that the correlations thus obtained vary less than 7%, so the degree of overlap has no effect on our present conclusions. We conclude that the target structure similarity metrics structural similarity component predicts mean search time and detection probability. The target structure similarity metrics luminance and contrast similarity components do not correlate with human observer performance. The target structure similarity metrics structural similarity component is equivalent to a matched filter. And therefore we conclude that matched filtering predicts human visual search performance. These results agree with related observations in the literature that have found that the cross-correlation component of the structural similarity metric predicts visual image quality and that human observers mainly rely on structural features to recognize image content. Thank you for your attention.